Welcome to the Shakedown Sound Series. In this series, we're going to share with you envelope filters by some of our favorite manufacturers. Join us on this long, strange trip. Today, the Shakedown Sound is being brought to you by Ibanez, courtesy of a pedal simply named Autofilter. Right. The AFL. Yes. Autofilter. The American Football League. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> um, kind of a vintage. Yeah. I, I think really one of the, right now, currently, the only kind of vintage envelope filter that we have in the series. Mm -hmm. So we, we're not, didn't source a Mutron. <laughs> right, or, right. You know, original Mutron. I have both my kidneys. Thank you. Um... 1985 to 86, I believe. Um, yeah, very short, short window. If you look at it, it looks very much like the Maxon F9 or whatever it is. And so kind of the precursor to that, whatever. Made by Maxon. Um, I guess four of it is. However that. Go watch the JHS show. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go watch people who actually know what they're talking about. Historians, yes. He'll tell you the history. So, but a pretty cool pedal. Um there was a picture when, so this, this, the history story behind it for us is it popped up in Facebook marketplace in a town very close to us. It was a meeting in a park, the post office parking lot in East, no, in uh, spring Grove or something like that spring Grove, um, York Springs, something like that. Um, anyway, when I saw it pop up, I'm like, I wonder if that'd be good. Started looking into it kind of rare, kind of collectible, Picture of it sitting on Bob Weir's amp, you know, things like that. So yeah. I mean, it's been around, it's been used. Uh, so the question that we start every episode for the Shakedown Sound series with is, you know, we'll get the sounds from the Doodah Man. So where do we start? We start with your Michael Dolan guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And at this point, when this comes out, mm -hmm. there should be an episode on this guitar. You can learn more about it. Real awesome history. So. <laughs> Definitely can get it. It's different than some of the others when you strike the chord, the, the, yeah. the kind of the phasey filter part of it is a little different, but definitely the quackiness on the single note stuff. That's good. Yeah, I like it. Um, in, interesting the way it's set up. Mm -hmm. You know, different, you know, you get the sliders and stuff. Right. I like the vintage look of it. I don't know. It's cool. So let's switch. I'll give you this because we're going to jump right into this one. And famous last words, but. <laughs> Short and sweet. Right. We have a sensitivity slider. And a peak slider. So sensitivity, the higher that is up, the less you're going to have to hit it to trigger it, right? So the further down it is, you're going to have to hit it harder to trigger it, slide it up, maybe not as hard. Peak then is kind of looking at that point, right? That frequency point where, where the envelope kind of breaks in. Um, I'm not sure that's the perfect way to say that, but that's... <laughs> that's the way it was said tonight. That's what you get tonight. Uh, and then we have three switches. So we have the filter, whether that is bandpass or low pass. 
And then, of course, to do kind of the sound from the dude, I'm man, we're going to have it low pass. Band pass is more like the wall. So low pass lets everything below where you have that peak set through. Band pass cuts everything below it and everything above it in a certain range. Um, then we have the the infamous up down <laughs> switch, which sorry Ibanez because we were like ragging on you in the Ibanez video because we thought they had it backwards. And here we are again. And apparently we didn't know what we were talking about. Uh, but in our defense, it does seem like it is different in some of them. Mm-hmm. It, yes. That's all we can say it's before it turns into a therapy session and a longer video. Right. It does appear to do different things with different manufacturers. It does the opposite of what you would think it would do. And other times you're like, oh, that makes sense. Other times you're like, that seems backwards. Maybe after we do all 19 of them, we'll, <laughs> we'll understand. And then probably not. Probably At this not. point, we're just we're go stuck. We should just stop acting, start acting like we knew it all. <laughs> yes, along. Right, right. right. Down is up and up is down. Um, and then you have a low and a high. This is the range of it. And we can, I think the best way to show that is just to show that when we get to it. Right. So I think we'll start where we're at on the bandpass setting in the up position on the low. Move those peak and sensitivity knobs around a little bit just to give you an idea of the range you get with those. And then we'll come out and look at some of the other knobs, some of the other switches. Yeah, exactly. That's um, true. There's not a really a knob on this pedal. Not a knob on it. So I think you're doing reference now? Yeah. Uh, tonight we're going to use my PRS uh, standard 24 1995 with Dragon pickups, kind of hot pickups. And we kind of have learned that envelope filters respond pretty good to hot pickups. So I'm going to play it in the bridge. Uh <laughs> present Tyler JT22. Right. You're off. <laughs> So, I mean, one of the things that we've been finding with them, if you take the one or the other knob, I mean, it doesn't probably matter, mm -hmm. but it's easier if you can set one knob and move the, or slider and move it up and down and then move it and then move the slider up and down. We found that that's kind of the, the way we've been dialing them in. So probably I did it backwards because, I mean, typically I think I would probably set the peak somewhere and then move the sensitivity mm -hmm. up and down. But this time I just kind of... I tried to take the sensitivity down, bring it up, and each time I bring it up, move the, the peak up and down to give you an idea of what's going on with that. So sensitivity and peak. Let's look at I, – I, th I think we just stay here for a second, and if you play that again, I'll switch it down. I'll switch it to the down mode. So we're going from the up sweep to the – there was no other <laughs> From the up sweep to the down sweep, and then – Maybe back up and then, well, we'll do that. We'll At least that. with this one, you get to flip an Atari like switch. Yeah, it, it really does it, remind it, you. 1985, yeah, yeah. it is Atari. <laughs> exactly. You're probably buying it from the same manufacturer. Uh, it's my senior year of high school, but who's talking? <laughs> I'm not a 
Every time we go to Pew Pew, I have a Princess Leia moment. I totally mess up the riff. <laughs> You're thinking Star Wars. He's I do. Back to his senior year of high yeah, school when, yeah. the, when, the first, <laughs> when the first Star Wars came out. <laughs> 1977. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let's get off of that. Push these back up. How about a big accord and let it ring? Once or twice, and then I'm going to switch the range up. And sometimes the range is easier to hear if you let a chord ring. Yep. Thanks. D minor, how about that? Yeah, in the low position, it comes right away. Yeah. It's not a whole lot longer. It's not. But I feel like uh, the up position, right? Is that where we're? Sorry. Let's more of the guitar signal in first. Is that true? You get a brightness. I, I felt like there was a brightness to it. Unless I'm thinking backwards. <laughs> Right, and I think in another envelope filter when we were reading about that, it did say like there's a range, like this K to that K, and mm -hmm. when you move from one, it goes to the other. Right. So like the low might be better for, I don't know, bass or something. Right. Um, in the one envelope filter, I think it was the Mutron, they talked about having it in a high if you're playing up higher on the neck mm -hmm. to let some of those high notes come through better. Right. And rhythm on the low lead on the high. I think it was rhythm on the low and lead on the high. Uh, so the last thing on this one would be the band pass. So I think we get out of the pew pew, right? Yeah. No, wait. Out of the pew pew is up. Leave it in low for now. Switch it to band pass. And I'll move the sliders a little bit while you're playing just to see if we can... That's actually one of the nicest band pass. Yeah, it thinned out, but it didn't get so it didn't disappear or get so brittle. Yeah, it was nice. It, it really that that band in the room that band pass sounded mm -hmm. really sounded really it even kind of like the up. I almost felt like that's where you could almost on this one you could almost hear the wah, mm -hmm. the up and the down where they're saying down is the the back you know. Going towards heel right. and up is going towards toe. That always, when we listen to it on like the uh, low pass filter, we're always like, nah, that's not. <laughs> but on that one, I'm like, oh, well, maybe I can hear that now. So that's the pedal. Um, they're out there. I didn't think it was, well, the, 
you know, Facebook Marketplace deal that I got in the parking lot, I thought was really reasonable. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wasn't, um, I've seen someone maybe reverb or listed that were more than what I paid, but they're out there. They're reasonable. Nice pedal. If you're looking for something maybe in that vintage market, that yeah. might be a nice choice. Kind of vintage and, and somewhat apparent, uh, simple to use. Yeah. Not a ton of knobs. In right. There. No knobs, as a matter of fact. Right. Not, <laughs> no knobs, no props. <laughs> so remember we were going to do that pedal board with the right. least number of knobs right. we could get? I that's mean, a zero. That's a zero. There's no knobs. You've got two zeros. All right, Dan and Mick, there's the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> we got two pedals, no knobs so far. <laughs> least amount of knobs, biggest sound, I don't know. All right, so I think that's it, right? Yeah. As always, we like to... Take a second, pause, thank everybody that's hitting the subscribe button, clicking on the notification bell, hitting like or leaving comments down below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments on the, on this pedal or anything in the series, really you know, put it in the comments. We'll try and get to it as soon as we can. And um, stop being out the Instagram, Facebook. Anytime you interact with the show, it really helps us out and helps us keep bringing cool content like this to the channel. So with that. I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. Happy 1985. <laughs>